what he says right there. Oh. <laughs> And I love you, Lance, forever. Whoever wrote that for you. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. That's John Carpenter. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. The yeah. I don't know. I want. Oh. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> uh, that's of course that's Brad Lurie from uh, oh. from uh, Resurrection. Okay. What's that movie about? I have most of these guys. I think the only one I never ended up getting was uh, uh was Chris from H two O. Okay. And of course. The original Swamp Thing, Dick Durock. Ah, yes. Which now, since all of this, Dick has passed away. I knew Dick growing up as I was a kid. So, you know, to see him get lost was one of my dad's very dearest stuntman friends. Can you see this too closely? No, we can see it fine. Even the little baseball bat or drumstick that looks like on top. Yes, that's uh, that's John showing Boombox Boy what in the world to do. Oh, it's like you need instruction to carry the the boombox. <laughs> Wouldn't let me just do it on my own. He said, "This yeah. is gonna do it, punk." <laughs> uh, that's Miss Danielle Harris in there. Okay. Um, we'll skip that one. Uh -huh. I go back. <laughs> no, a... uh, oh, Which one is that? that one? Okay. The original Spider-Man was Freddy Wong. Oh, okay. To my girlfriend Lance. Ah, girlfriend Lance. <laughs> friend Lance. Friend Lance. <laughs> you know that Leather guy? Leatherhead. Yeah, that's le Leatherhead. <laughs> what John said. <laughs> I know. And then, of course, the legendary Michael Berryman. Oh, yeah, the guy from Weird Science. I remember. And uh, these hills have eyes. <laughs> Yes, well, in the Motley Crue video, Smoking in the Boys' Room. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, I don't do that. I can see our reflection. You know, I can see us. And, uh... <laughs> All right. How about those? Okay? Yeah, right? yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of pictures. <laughs> well, they'll just kind of sit on the wall in between. Oof. Oh, wow. Yeah, Move over there because we've got some of the some of the production gear. Got to move into a few <laughs> things on on this side. Oh wow! Um, Jim, no. And of course, every good studio has a photo of this guy. Oh yeah, Henry Winkler, the Fonz. Hey, <laughs> hey. Nice. <laughs> and of course, now that he's been, you know, I guess not convicted, <laughs> Mr. Robert Blake. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Got it. So, 13 minutes. I mean, that's, you know, a lot of what I've got is just stuff to that effect. Okay. Um, in and among the actual I see place you. where we sit down and... I like all your uh, monitors. you got a lot of monitors kind of surrounding. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to lead to the monitors, but Leon suggested I forgot these right here. Oh. Oh, yes. Freddy Cougar. Yeah. And Leatherhead. Well, basically, it's like... Leatherhead. Pretty cool. You know... I've got the, that. That's Gunnar Hansen, so the original, and then with Robert England, which I absolutely love the Robert England because it says to Lance, die slow. <laughs> that's good. We move over because, you know. Oh, yeah. There's like a, my. It's the figure, guys, which then we go with Kane Hodder and, again, Michael Myers, part two. Sure. Wow. Are those very clear? Yeah, yeah. We can, we can see them pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then one of the favorites on my end is probably I can see perfectly. that guy there, which is the color version of Dad in the Cage in Jaws 1. Okay. Which goes with this little beauty here. Oh, yeah. Which is an actual tooth from, from Bruce Jaws. the Shark. Yeah, you were mentioning to me about that when we, uh, when we did the interview here back three years ago, and uh, I remember that. Yeah, I don't know how many people have those or if they've been fabricated through the years, but I was able to snag one of those and hang on to it huh. uh, from, my God, well, it must have been 70, yeah, 74, 75. I mean, it was whenever, it was before the movie came out because I went to see uh, the shark 
and it was basically when they were i didn't see them filming but it was when they were doing the cage scene because it was in a tank in southern california and so my dad said well let's let's steal one of the teeth <laughs> so we did it oh wow <laughs> and i still have it so <laughs> you know it's all good as far as that goes oh sure Mm-hmm. So, and then from here on, we should probably, um... Yeah, hey! You know, <laughs> on What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Yeah. There he is! The white, Barry White, or the white version of Barry White. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> or, uh... So I, or the chubby, know, we'll just... or the, maybe the chubbier version of... Maybe the chubbier version of Let Me Kill My Super Mo- Motorhead. I don't know, I'm <laughs> Want me to punch him for you? <laughs> Just kidding. Which one? The uh, Le- Lemmy Killmeister, Motorhead. He kind of looks just like him, kind of. Oh, Lemmy. You look like Lemmy? Yeah, I've been... The Ace of Spades! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we got about a good 12 minutes left. We can... <laughs> we got about 12... 10. Before, before Leon started doing music, he used to uh, stunt double Brad Pitt. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. And now we just have decided that we need to hang a little bit behind the scenes. It's just it's just too much work and effort. Now we like to sit for a living. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey, that's nothing wrong with that, you know. Oh. But they, they got wheelchairs for people like that. <laughs> yeah, you. I'm that's just, fine. Yeah. <laughs> or rascal scooters or whatever. So. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that's right. a little bit of kind of like the work, you know, partial of the the workstation okay. right now. So like, so like, so uh, like, uh, with your partner uh, Leon, I mean, has he done anything, you know, in the acting world before he met you? You or or what? Was he an actor? You mean? Or anything? Was in a band called Motorhead. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! I don't know if you heard of that band before. No, no, never. I don't know. Is that a gospel band or whatever? <laughs> I was their manager, and so then I just said, well, me and you need to go and do something that's a little less stressful. <laughs> well, I mean, like, like, but I mean, like, have you, uh, have you, Leon, done anything, like, you know, prior to Meet Lance, I mean, like, like something huge or whatever before you guys got together? Or? Yeah, I beat you up. I, I, I met Lance on the street corner. <laughs> he was selling himself out there. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I was like, hey, you and I should start a business. <laughs> you know, I haven't really done uh, anything on the scale of him. I'm still uh, still trying to find my way in the in the uh, in the industry, but uh, I have been um, in the industry for a very long time. Okay. I used to okay. have my own recording studios, or I had I had a couple of them, and then uh, technology businesses and stuff like that. But uh, I've been playing all my life. So. But you guys work. You guys work pretty good together as a team, though. Yeah, as long as Lance says what I say, we're cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hence, hence the reason why we're here at my facility doing the updates, fixing his computer, so that I don't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you were saying, Lance, uh, like that you guys uh, have known each other a long time. I mean, how long have you guys, uh, like, how did you guys hook up? I mean, like, how was what what, what where did it all start, kind of? Well, okay, here's the, here's the honest truth. I mean, we've been acquaintances and friends for a long time, uh, and then I started dabbling in this side of, of, you know, the business, hoping to, you know, I guess create a name for myself, and came across a project one time that I said, you know what, I, I need help. Bottom line is, is I want somebody to be brought in on this that I can count on, and approached Leon and and knew damn well that, that he had a very strong interest in this, doing film scores um, just to the bigger level than I was even thinking. And so I think due to the fact of knowing each other and knowing the abilities, he has brought not only, I mean, the musical side, it's like two sides of the story here, because there's the technology side that we absolutely <laughs> have to. Oh, yeah. The world's biggest BS, sir. <laughs> Cheers to that, sir. Cheers. Well, I don't got no mug. Whoops. It, uh, when, when you do what we do, part of it is, you know, obviously music is first and foremost. And if you can't write a piece of music to get outside,